Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Uh, this is what we're going to do today. Just watch. Motor touch, cars coming in, and the wheels uh, keep spinning. Again, text animation, and then the movie clip symbol animation. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, first, so let's create a new document. Uh, please open the Adobe Animate and create new document the size of a 1280 pixel by 720 pixels and 30 frame rate HTML5 canvas and create it. And in order to view the entire scene, uh, please double click your hand tool just like this. Okay, now we're going to import the images. Um, please download the images from the link I provided in my description. So go to file, import to the library for now. <clears throat> so there are three files, car.svg, emptylandscape.jpg, and wheels.svg file. And please check the first one, and the first one. Okay, so it comes like this. And the symbol 2, I don't think we need it. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so three files. Okay, so first the thing is, uh, before that we make the MI, uh, the entire text, uh, entire animation, I want to make the um, <clears throat> kind of a movie clip symbol for the car. So first, in the library panel, uh, there are two different ways of making new symbol. So the first one is uh, this. In your library panel on the bottom left corner, new symbol or you can go to insert new symbol either way is fine so new symbol uh, let's make it as, as a movie clip and then first thing is I'm gonna make as a wheels okay so wheel so make sure you're working on this movie clip symbol wheel and then in this wheel movie clip symbol place the drag and drop this wheel.svg file just like this and then place it on the zero point like that and we're gonna just uh, spin it so um, um, I think that the 15 frames must be okay so select the frame number 15 and then place insert keyframe and then place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle anywhere either hold down the other control key or right click and create classic twin okay and then select the first keyframe open the properties panel we're gonna rotate it uh, counterclockwise just once and play it see okay so it's good now let's make a, another uh, movie clip symbol open the library Go to insert menu, new symbol, this time car, and the type is the movie clip. Okay. Okay. In this movie clip symbol, make sure you're working on the car movie clip symbols window and select your car.svg and drag and drop. And then place it somewhere uh, on the zero point. Just like that. Okay, now in this here, I'm gonna have my wheel movie clip symbol in here. Let me place it somewhere there. Just like that. I'm using my uh, arrow key. And then also, I'm gonna need to have another one. Hold down the option, keep pressing shift key and make a copy okay so this is a movie clip symbol but also this movie clip symbol uh, embeds the wheels movie clip symbols so see what happens so i'm back to my main scene just to let me test uh, this car the car movie clip symbol this is the uh, one we just made drag and drop and let me test it control test movie in browser see isn't it cool so cars 
kind of a, uh, it doesn't move, but around the wheels keeps spinning. Okay, now back to animate. I'm gonna delete it for now. Okay, so first I want to uh, have my background image, which is empty landscape. So just a drag and drop, which is pretty big, it's a huge. Let me zoom out. See, it's a big one. Please open the uh, transform panel or just a free transform tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and make it smaller. About that size. Let me double click my hand tool. So it looks okay. That's too much. Maybe somewhere here. And maybe a center like this. Okay, so I'm going to rename this layer as a BG layer background. And let me create a new layer on top. Uh, I'm going to type the word, the name of this, maybe a um, uh, hypothetical uh, company, uh, Motor Touch. Motor Touch. Okay, and then let me open my online panel. Uh, align to stage, check this box, align center, and then I'm going to move a little bit down, somewhere there. Okay, so I can, I'm um, saving the space on top for the car. And also I want to change the color a little bit. So let me choose my uh, type tool, let me highlight, touch the second word, and let me change the text color to uh, like orange. I love orange. Okay. So select your text. Now go to modify menu, break apart. So now, uh, the entire word is broken into uh, the individual letters. Just like this. Then go to modify, timeline, distribute to layers. See? Okay. Now, we're going to animate this text first, real quick. And then, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to highlight frame number 5 of my first letter M on the bottom. Hold down the shift key, click on the top layer, frame number 5, and insert the keyframe. Don't worry about the background at this point. Now select the entire layer. So select the bottom layer, first letter M layer. Hold down the shift key, click on the top letter layers, and insert the keyframe. Oh, I'm sorry. Then uh, hold down the control key or right click and click somewhere, anywhere in between, any layer, and insert uh, create classic twin. Okay, now move your play hat to the beginning. Select the all first keyframes, just like this. And keep pressing your mouse button on the entire word, all letters, shift, and move down. So I'm here, there. Okay, then in your properties panel, change the color effect from none to alpha, and set to zero, down to zero. So this will happen. They rise up very quick. Okay. And then also I want to give some kind of uh, the different time duration in between each letter. So M comes first. I'm going to leave it. And letter O, let me zoom in a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Select the second layer from the bottom. And I'm going to move it just one frame more. Just like that. And next letter, one more frame. Next letter, one more, next, one more, next, one more, next, one more, and one day will be done. There you go. And watch. It's pretty quick. But the problem is, uh, I only see the letter H because that this whole segment is the other empty. So, uh, highlight the frame number 14 on the other letter C layer. Hold down the shift key, 
click on the frame number 14 on the bottom, the first letter M, and insert the keyframe. Then watch. Okay, so it looks good. Now I want to expand the um, my background layer from here to 14. This time insert just a key, uh, just a frame. So watch. So it looks good. Next step, I want to have a car. So let me zoom out a little bit, just like that. So select the top layer, insert the other new layer on top. Okay. And then I want to make it stay maybe, I don't know, uh, just maybe another kind of 10 frames. So let me do this. Highlight the frame number 25. Entire frame. Insert keyframe. And the bottom layer. Insert the frame. And on this top layer, let me insert just a keyframe there, which is a blank keyframe now. Then, open your library and select your car movie clip symbol, not the SVG file. This one. We need it. Place it. Set the position. And then if you want, you can make it a little bit smaller. Control the size. I'm going to set the position somewhere here. Let's see. Uh, maybe a little down. Just like that. Okay, so it looks good. And then my plan is, once text comes in like this, then cars coming in. Okay? And I want to make it come out real quick. So what I'm going to do is, highlight this frame, and maybe 10 more frames, that would be enough. There, maybe 35. Then insert keyframe. Don't worry about the background. And then, select any frame in between, hold down the control or right click, classic twin. And then, at the very beginning, the, the first keyframe of this car, I want to start this cars coming in from the right out of the stage like this so watch it's coming in motor touch and coming in if you want to control the speed of this car select the first keyframe of this car open the properties let me try 100 and see what happens or try minus 100 you will see the difference It's getting faster. I would go with the 100 because I want to make it getting slower. That makes more sense. Okay. Okay. So the problem is uh, we don't have a background after this car is coming in. So highlight frame number 35 of all letter layers and insert the keyframe so we can keep everything in there. Okay. And then, bottom layer, I want to keep the end of my same image. So, um, just a frame. And watch. Okay. So, it looks good so far, but um, the, the wheel is not spinning. Uh, you, don't, you won't see it uh, until you test the movie. So, go to control menu, test movie in browser, and watch. But, um, it keeps looping, so I want to make it stay a little longer so I can view the, uh, the entire scene. So let me go back. So this is about the yeah, one second animation, so real quick. I want to add uh, maybe three more or four more seconds. So um, uh, let's see, about four second mark. Highlight the other four second mark on top layer. Hold down the shift key. Click on the end um, the uh, the first letter, insert the keyframe, and the bottom layer, just insert the frame. And watch. Control, test the movie in browser. 
taxes coming in. See? One, two, three, and again. Motor touch. So it could be used for some kind of a promotional uh, the video of a motor touch, like a garage or um, uh, the car part retailer store, something like that. Okay. So next step is I'm going to save it first as um, motor touch dot fla and then let me export it as mp4 file so maybe you can upload it on any social media instagram facebook or even youtube so video media make sure uh, your media encoder is open this one so location so i'm not going to change anything i'm going to keep the same uh, original size uh, entire movie Format is important, it's 264. And the preset, um, so YouTube 720 HD quality video. And then location is motor touch. That's my folder. Save it, export it. Okay, so let me check my folder. Uh, motor touch no MP4, that's the file. So open in QuickTime. Let me play it. Motor touch. Okay, again. All right, so that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.